to True Creativity Insights. I thought I would start this episode by kind of showing off what I did with this old fence that was in our um, our, our backyard. We're going to replace it anyway, but I thought, you know what, since we're replacing it, it's kind of old, it's looking really drab. I thought I'd give it a little bit of color, I'd give it a little bit of art, and plus, I thought it would be cool to use it as a backdrop for one of my episodes. Also, this is really appropriate for the topic today, which is about bringing, going out into the world and finding a way to bring more art and creativity into your life so that you can live a more artful life. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that later, but I wanted to show you what I did first. I mean, it was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna get some paint and I'm just gonna do whatever I want bring color to it and it was kind of fun it also was a way to get me out of the studio outside and do something creative outside so I am going to talk more about how to live an artful life because we can't, we don't always have to stay in our studio working at our workspace creating art and think that's the only way to introduce creativity into our lives there are there is so much more that you can do to continue to live a creative life in all kinds of different ways so I'm going to talk more about that so I'm going to go in and share that stuff with you so we're inside and I just wanted to share that I have a wall in my house that is just designated to hanging my artwork um, even though I have them sprinkled all in other places around the house, this is the wall. This is considered my art wall. I specifically had it painted a neutral gray for that reason. But um, that reminded me that it's important to hang up the artwork that you love, that you've created, in your home, in your creative space, because they are reminders of who you are and your artistic self. So I just wanted to kind of um, share that with you because it kind of goes with the topic today, which is how to live a more artful life and looking for art in whatever places. It doesn't matter where you're at. You can find art anywhere. And the reason why I'm talking about this topic is because I was working on my Santa Fe retreat this week and I was running through some photos that I had taken when I visited Santa Fe, um, New Mexico in 2019. I was checking out some possible retreat locations and that had been actually the third time that I had been to um, Santa Fe and I uh, there is something very magical and enchanting about Santa Fe. And it's not only because it's known for its artistic history. Many artists would gravitate that through this, you know, through the decades. They would gravitate to that place for artistic inspiration. But it is also known to be one of the um, artistic hubs in the United States next to New York and Los Angeles. Santa Fe is um, the place that you would just see the most amazing, most creative and interesting art. If you ever get out, you know, get a chance to go out there, it's really great for its art. But it's also has this strong art and creative vibe. So I was looking through some photos and I was remi I reminded um, myself of this time that when I was out there I came across this wooden fence that was painted colors that happened to match the colors that I was wearing and it was just like a happy coincidence so I told my husband quickly take a photo of me in front of this fence this is so cool and that that in itself was kind of a moment of artistic expression and it was outside of my workshop right and outside of my studio it was out in the world experiencing um another artistic experience so that reminded me and then prompted me to paint the fence out in the backyard because um i thought that would be cool that was a cool backdrop and i wanted to create something like that in my backyard so 
Um, anyway, also, another thing when I was in Santa Fe is I went to Meow Wolf. Many of you have probably heard of Meow Wolf. Um, that is crazy artistic place. I mean, it is, talk about overwhelm. It is like going to Vegas, but everything around you is artistic, creative. And um, so you really, when you go in, you really need to kind of um, prep yourself for overstimulation. But what's really cool, and let me tell you a little bit about Meow Wolf. It is a, in, in, um, it is a collection in one big, I would say, warehouse space. But when you go in there, you don't even know it's a warehouse. But each room was created by a different artist. So it has a, each room has a completely different feel to it. And um, even there's rooms, um, rooms that have walls that actually have collage material on it, which was very cool. I had to just... I was so excited about it because it had, it was literally like ephemera on the walls as wallpaper. But um, that's just an example of, you know, traveling, going to someplace that's artistic and just kind of soaking yourself and immersing yourself in a place that will actually stimulate you artistically and creatively. And, you know, Anne Paris talks about this in her book, Standing at Water's Edge, is that looking for those immersive experiences that actually feed back your inner artist and nurture and inspire and fuel back that creativity. So I just wanted to talk about that. But um, there's so much out there in the world that you can actually go out, experience it, bring back to your creative space and allow that to be your inspiration. So you can find um, art and creativity, whether that's, you know, looking for pottery or interesting colorful pottery to bring back for your kitchen. You can find art and creativity in food, um, whether that's donuts, whether that's interesting dishes. You can, you can also find art in nature, which is really interesting because you can go out and, and literally look at flowers and the color of the flowers and how that works with the color wheel. That always surprises me is that nature seems to actually operate on the color wheel, um, especially when you're watching a, like a sunset or, um, you know, or, or a sunrise, the colors in the sky actually it's almost like they're in the analogous family. So um, that's what's really fun to l look at is when you're in nature is starting to notice that there's bits and pieces of art, creativity, even in nature in the small moments. Uh, when we go outside of our comfort zone, um, we get new ideas. We get new ideas that pop into our mind about, oh, I should try to introduce that style or that idea into a project I'm working on. Um, I've had that happen where I'm like, that would be so cool if I could mimic that. Like for example, you know, one of the things I, uh, one of the workshops I did was um, photography and mixed media. And we went to an old mission down in San Juan Capistrano. Um, I took the class there. We photographed the mission because there was so much interesting stuff to photograph there because there's like these brick walls that were made out of seashells um, because back then they were near the ocean so they would grab um, the stuff in the ocean and then embed it into the walls. And then the walls became so interesting to look at in terms of photographing it and then that became inspiration to take back to the workshop and integrate that into their mixed media pieces but it was like you know a way to take them out of the classroom and to find um, inspiration outside and actually be able to integrate that into what they were working on and what I was teaching but that's another example also for you know um Finding art and creativity in the places that you don't expect um, and in the moments that you don't expect. 
So I hope that you will go out there and try to find more art to bring back and create a more artful life for yourself. And I hope you find this um, episode valuable to helping you continue to stay creative, continue to fuel and nurture your creative journey. So thanks for watching True Creativity Insights. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube series or my YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching. Stay creative and I'll see you next time. Bye.